kept saying that in the drive home. I am sure, at, or I'm not charging the general alcohol in the station house. I was not able to confirm. He he donated all his own money. <coughs> all right. Oh, there you go. Well, are. welcome back. Yeah, we a uh, uh, couple techn- technical problems uh, here. With I music. had no technical problems. Feels like I, uh, it's been I a long time. I don't handle the technical side. Yeah, it feels like it's a long time since we uh, podcasted, Gene. So uh, yeah, well, so I'm a little rusty on the old. Uh, knobs. I leave that up to you. Hey, by the way, Sting, uh, he's doing a show. He wrote. It's a musical, and he's doing it here in L.A. And I'm going to go see him in a few weeks. Yeah. How about that? That is pretty. Uh, so they they had their technical run through yesterday. So you should do that before I get here. <laughs> yeah. I want to walk in and get going. Well, hey, st- how much money is Sting getting paid? I don't know. It's his broadcast. show. So, yeah, it's not a big theater. It's only like. But, Gene, you know, we are the most uh, heavily anticipated show oh, of the night. I see. Yeah. Oh, and we fit it in during halftime of the national championship game. Yeah. Who is someone like playing? Is there like an artist? Is it like a probably some Jennifer uh, J Lo and Shakira? <laughs> yeah, they're jo- I could you that that halftime show doesn't seem very inspiring, does it? Well, Gene, it's the most watered down. Yeah, bolt you know mass friendly, uh, you know non uh, offensive. We should show have uh, to put Kanye on. in his Sunday show service. Yeah, Think get some that. religion. Yeah, in these people. Mm. Um, all right. Well, Gene, uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show. Mm. I'm going to Green Bay. And uh, my name is Chris Dotson, and then that's mm. Gene Steichen. Gene, you oh. know what's nice about being from Iowa? What What is that? Is that is uh, there, well, there's many things. If you want me to narrow it down to 10, 10 things. Well, it's, uh, it's a 45-minute show, Gene, so oh, okay. uh, I don't know Go if ahead. we can fit it all, all in. Right, but tell me. Well, uh, maybe this will be a surprise. No, uh, no professional team. Oh, that's right. From Iowa. Yeah. So that <laughs> we used to we used to have the Iowa Barnstormers. <laughs> Sorry, there, there. We had we used to have the Barnstormers where Kurt Warner played. Uh, so what the uh, Arena Football League? Yes. So yeah, no uh, no professional team. That means you can root for uh, pretty much anyone. That's right. In the you know a five hundred mile radius. I I keep it down to three hundred. When the, when the needs are uh, <laughs> you know. Hey, listen, we Iowa. I was very convenient. I was a Cubs state, but it's very split between Bears, Packers, and Vikings. Uh, mostly <laughs> Bears, Packers. Depending on who is the uh, right. NFC North champion. <laughs> hey, this is all about the Packers. I wa- I, there's like a direct correlation between gear sold in uh, Dubuque and, yeah. uh, and I don't mean. But hey. I bought I bought this I bought this sweatshirt. I bought, I've had this for a long time. I oh, and I have the shareholders. I'm a owner. Uh, I bought this sweatshirt at Lambeau Field, though, at their uh, their pro shop. All I right, pay, nice. So, yeah, you so what? You, you mean you didn't buy the patches at the oh, Lambeau I, Field and then put them? No, I bought I, the the shareholders uh, shareholders <laughs> owner patch. Oh, well, okay. So you got that for free, right? You're a shareholder, no, right? You got they, that for free. No, and and you can't I mean, buy it. <laughs> you have to buy it through the team, and you have to. Uh, they give you a code, so you, well, once a year they sell. Such uh, a, since shareholder. you're a, since you're a shareholder, I'm sure they give it to you wholesale, right, Price? Uh, I, I, I mean, that so. thing can't be worth more than four dollars, right? <laughs> no, uh, more than that. Hey, hey, listen. Even well, no, my, no, no, no. You paid more than that, but I'm just right, saying what it's right. worth. No, but you know what? It's priceless. You know why, Gene? Why? Because it's got the green and gold. That's right. And then, and then they did the upgrade on the uh, – because I had the certificate. But then they said that next year they did it with, a, like, this gold coin and a, a fancy thing, and, and I bought that too. <laughs> I'll buy anything they said. Oh, and I have a shareholder's <laughs> – uh, I have a shirt. I have pa- yeah, I have two patches. Yeah, I'll buy anything they sell us. Gene, all these other teams should just hold these phony baloney stock sales. They, but since I got in, they haven't offered stocks again, so I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> you got in while the stock was low, huh? Well, Gene? I got in uh, because of me. They're able to uh, upgrade their stadium. Yep. Yeah. Th- yeah. That that two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, plus tax. It was like fifty dollars shipping. So I was in for three hundred. That's my investment. Hey, on you the got Packers. to. Um, you know, pay for the Green Bay local school system, Gene. That's right. 
So, Their McDonald's uh, is painted green and gold right near the stadium. Pretty cool. All right. Yep. All right. So uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show. We're going to talk uh, mostly football. Mm-hmm. Today, Gene, we're not going to, uh, you know, I'm not going to turn this into a Green Bay Packers oh. uh, podcast. So uh, we'll talk about the game. Trust me, as a uh, as a victor, I, uh, I, 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 I present myself humbly to the world. Oh, my God. Again, I'm not going to, uh, you know, you know, write songs about the greatness of right, the Green right. Bay Packers and all that. I mean, I realized oh now that I'm God. saying this, I'm like, oh, we just won the divisional game. That wasn't really the uh, Super I Bowl. Know. So I it was I'm, just, I'm practicing for three weeks. To from let now, yourself Gene. dream that Aaron Rodgers could win one more Super Bowl, that would be so. That would just be one, mm-hmm. Gene. Well, I, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking we got three in a row. Why not? Yeah, but it would be it would be so great if if they could play Kansas City. I know. It'll be fun. All right. Well, Jimmy, before we go into the game. Please don't let Tennessee win. Please don't let them win. (laughs) All right. America's worst nightmare. All right. Well, should we just talk about the AFC really quick, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I mean, you know, Tennessee walloped on uh, the Ravens. You know, what can you say? Oh, my gosh. It makes me nervous. Thank goodness. Could you imagine the network people thinking, hey, guess what? We have Houston versus Tennessee. Who's who hosts the game? I don't know. They're both crappy. <laughs> and then, oh, what a disaster that would have been! Oh man, thank goodness. And then the other game would have been Seattle versus Niners or something. Uh, but thank goodness it didn't work out that way. Yeah, that would have been yeah. a big Northwest. Uh, I don't know Tennessee. Game. I guess they're good. I but it's oh, there's hey, there's, they may uh, they may shock. Uh, did they know? have fans? Didn't they have to close? Ha- That's Jacksonville that closed the upper deck of their stadium. Tennessee is not a whole lot better. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, who knows? I mean, so uh, can they uh, beat? Can they keep uh, Patrick Mahomes? No, please, down? no. I'm can so rooting that? for the Kansas City. Wow, what a great story, Andy Reid. No, I hope not. Yeah, they probably can, and then I'll be so sad. Don't you want Patrick Mahomes to make it to the Super Bowl and Andy Reid? Yeah, that'd be cool. I would like It'd that. Be awesome. It'd be um, awesome. So if they could meet the Packers, that uh, would be uh, and, cool. And then please let, for me, I'm just like, uh, let Kansas City, if the Packers can't win, please let Kansas City win. No more Niners and forget the Titans. Forget about that. <laughs> Yikes. I will right, we'll see the uh, the defense. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. So let's, uh, I mean, let's. I guess let's start with that Packers game. Yes. Where, fantastic. Where did you, did I, you watch it, Gene? Oh, I did got you a new the TV. On? I got a new TV. Awesome. I got a 50-inch. Yours is huge, too, so probably the same size. Uh, 50-inch TV, smart TV. So, And I got it hooked up to speakers. So I said, hey, let me let me fire this one up. So I had... <laughs> let, me, uh, let me hear old uh, Troy and Joy. I didn't hear the whole... I, I had the sound on, but I was listening to something else on headphones. But I could hear it in the background. And I almost took my headphones off when Jimmy Johnson with the Hall of Famers oh came my God. rolling into that... that uh, yeah, Studio. what? A, I uh, I, don't I saw both days. I have. I was watching when they came in and surprised. Phil Cowell. Cowell. I was surprised by him getting in. Weren't you a little bit? Mm. I mean, now that I think Uh-oh. about it, I mean, he, you know, he lost that one Super Bowl, right, with uh, Neil O'Donnell. But I mean, he did get to a Super Bowl yeah, with Neil he O'Donnell, won. though. He, he won one. Yeah, the bus is last game. But still, he with, only uh, yeah with Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, I think he coached ten years. He was good, but man. I don't know. Yeah, this this is better. I mean, George Seifert, how about put him in the Hall of Fame? How about that? Okay. But I'm glad Jimmy should be in for sure. I don't care. He didn't have a long career. He he was. Yeah. What what, what I don't like is these orchestrated moments. You know, it's like this is probably a, uh, you know, who knows how he would react if it was just like, you know, in the office or something like that. How did that, that guy you, sneak you, into the you, studio? You David, on, David something. Is yeah, who, who is this guy? He's the CEO. I was just listening to Bill Simmons. You know, he used to be the famer, former mayor of Burbank, and then he was indicted <laughs> on forgery charges. Yeah. And then he had to give up his office. Now, I think now, now he's handing out uh, Hall of Fame uh, he, invites. He, I think it was Burbank, but he was a councilman, and he got indicted. But now he's, yeah. And he was did, also commissioner of the Arena Football League did, for a while. Did anyone check his references, Chief? <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, I it was cool, I guess. But I was surprised. I go, what's he doing in there with Cower? I thought maybe Cower got inducted into Pittsburgh Steelers Hall of Fame. Were you surprised? 
I, I Jimmy's mean, great I, though. But now what are you gonna do about Tom Coughlin and I don't know. There's a uh, if you Bill Belichick twice, put him in the Hall of Fame for sure. Mm. Or he'll, he'll find you. Yeah, you better show up early for that uh you know, that speech. Yeah. Tom Coughlin will find you. Yeah. All right. Well, Gene, I uh I went to a friend's Oh yeah, so I watched that at home and it was great. I watched I, I was really paying attention, so I watched every play. I got right, well, very nervous in the second half. We can go over the notes really quick. The okay. Packers looked very, very crisp. Wow, they were good. Early in the game, Gene. Yeah. yeah. And uh, especially watching a couple of games when everyone was dropping passes and uh, really killing their team. People uh, actually caught the ball. And Gene, Jimmy. Hey man, I'm holding up my Green Bay sweatshirt. Jimmy oh, Graham actually caught every single ball thrown to him. That is uh, he rarity. He was great. What's wrong with him? Is he just washed up? His thumb is continually broken, I guess. Oh, for okay. Some but he, boy, Firmly he was broken. good. Wow. He, and uh, including that, uh, I think it was like a third and eight, third and 11 or something like that. Right. And there was controversy whether he got over the line. Oh, that was it. That, was, that sealed this. the game. Yep. That He was over the line. Seattle quit whining. You, you, yeah. Well, Gene... All I can close. say is uh, ca- he, he, karma's a bitch, yeah, Seattle, huh? Yeah. And if if it would have been called uh, fourth down, they wouldn't have overturned it. They just happened to, you know. You mean you had a uh, a BS call go your way at an important point in a football game? Mm. Shocking. Yeah. It happens to uh, everyone. Hey, the Packers, Packers do well against Seattle, but they still, it was that Super Bowl game, the one they could have went to the Super Bowl. That one will haunt them. Uh, N- until they win this time. Yeah, but Gene, you know what? If they would have won, went to the Super Bowl and lost, which um, they probably would have, because right. they're playing. Uh, that was the uh, that was the Patriots, right? Yep. So eh, who knows if they would have won? I think they actually beat the Patriots that year. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, but no, Mike McCarthy definitely would have got another ten years. So he would have uh, been a Hall of Famer too. Then maybe Super it's uh, yeah, but he lo- he would lose. I'm, I'm saying he would oh, lose. Oh yeah, one, though, yeah, so. yeah. Well, All if right. he wins the Super Bowl at the Cowboys, then he'll be a Hall of Famer. But, uh, yeah, pretty good. Matt LaFleur. Uh, he's awesome. Do you first think he's year a good going coach? the NFC Championship. Hey, he seems like he I mean, Uno, I mean, listen, that, that team was stacked. I mean, that team has they, – they have, like, you know, they got Devonta Adams, who yeah. is probably one of the best receivers in the league, but oh no one talks gosh, about it because great. he gets caught by uh, – wow. thrown by Aaron Rodgers. Right. And then they got all these uh, other kind of scrubs who, uh, you know – Right. They they drop a lot of balls and stuff like that. Uh, but Aaron Jones, I mean, that guy can run and bust big yards. Yeah. Uh, so they're a pretty complete offense. And Aaron Rodgers was slinging the ball, and he had touch. He was so good. He was hitting every single thing, every throw. He was fired up, which is great to see. Yeah. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, so the Seahawks do predictably come back. And it was, uh, you know, Gene, it was looking pretty scary there, but I knew, you know, they would – Score and then at least leave one minute left for Aaron Rodgers to uh, get the uh, you know go ahead field right. goal or that the Packers are touchdown. so but great that about going for it that they had two third down completions on that last one and they know just don't give Seattle if you don't give Seattle the ball back then they can't win yeah, so exactly and that third down both passes were the one was amazing brilliant so. It was a uh, fun, enjoyable game. Uh, Clowney, by the way, dirty player. Yeah. He did that. Uh, I can't remember who he hit, but uh, he hit someone early on in the game. These are just my notes, Gene, that I wrote down. Yeah. Um, what about oh, he, he, he grabbed someone's face mask. That's what, uh, I think it was Aaron Oh, Ross. that was Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, did not get called. How we not call this? Well, you should be able that to. That was a violent uh, a twist. Uh, you should be it. able to replay that. Because that can actually hurt people. Right, right. Um. What about the Packers guy? That worried me. The defensive guy made a good play, and he pulled his shirt up, and his shirt below said uh, snub. I yeah. was like, hey, let's take it easy here, dude. <laughs> what, did he not make the Pro Bowl? Is that probably yeah, I guess what so. it is? But I, that made me worried. I was like, Zach let's Smith not make it about Smith? you, dude. Right? Be a team yep. player. So, all right. So, good game all in all. Awesome. Push it. I love watching uh, R- Russell Wilson get sacked. Uh, it's such a beautiful sight. Oh, Aaron, he, he was good. Russell Wilson was really tough. He he was really unstoppable, wasn't he, in the second half for the most part? Yeah, but we stopped him. Hey, we uh, the only they thing that I was missing, I was hoping it'd start snowing. That would have been pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. It was cold, It did snow later on. Yeah. I so. wonder if I could have made it through that game. That would have been cold. That would have been really cold. It's possible. 
All right, so they will be playing uh, the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. Uh, mm. Gene, uh, 49ers are favored by seven points. Yep. I uh, I do not understand this, Gene. I, wh- why is no one giving the Packers any respect? What one of these people going to learn, Gene? I hope they learn uh, after the Packers win the Super Bowl. They'll learn. I guess. But, uh, yeah, play the no respect card, Green Bay. That's fine <laughs> with me. Go for that. You yeah. know, and you, you talked about Bill Simmons earlier. You know, they they, they, they talked about uh, the Green Bay Packers for like two minutes <laughs> on the show. Yeah, because Bill Simmons took Seattle. He's and uh, uh, c- compared compared uh, this team to the uh, you know the old uh, the ninety eight ninety six ninety seven uh, Broncos Com- comparing Aaron Rodgers to J- John Elway, <laughs> Gene. Yeah, yeah. Well, Gosh. that's that's all I need to know about your sports credentials, right, Bill Simmons? Yeah. I just hope. Oh man, if we could get two more, uh, I don't know. See, I, Sam, it's hard not to remember that Sunday night game. Was it like five weeks ago or whenever, when they just crushed them? Oh yep. boy, not well. Good. I think uh, things have changed. I hope a so. Little bit. Hopefully, I hope they so. learn from their there'll mistakes. There'll be a lot of. I think there'll be a lot of Packer fans there at the game. Uh, oh, by the way, I checked. I checked ticket prices. Yeah. Uh, lowest ones are like three fifty right now. Right now, I on stub up. I That's that kind of surprises me. You think they'll drop anymore? Uh, I think I think they'll be like five hundred at game. Yeah, because there's only I think there's only like fifteen hundred left. Yeah. Uh, you there's so many rich people in that area. That I know. The, the 300, 400 bucks is nothing. Right. Although they're really crappy seats. Make sure you don't get in the sun. Although oh it will gosh. be at, at nighttime, so it won't be that bad. Yeah, it's going to be 340 kickoff. Yeah, 540. Oh, yeah. come on, Green Bay. Uh, just, Gene, I got one more uh, Bill Simmons joke here before okay. we move off this yeah. topic. Um, so, yeah, spends, spends two minutes talking about the Packers. Uh, spends 10 minutes talking about what would have happened for the Patriots if there was <laughs> oh, no <know>. deflate gate. <laughs> Goes through I, all I the know. scenarios, how Jimmy yeah. Garoppolo wouldn't have a right, great right. game. Yeah. It wouldn't get uh, discovered by all the oh, scouts. My gosh. And the trade would never would have happened, and they have a bright blah, blah. 10 minutes on this crap. I, I know. I, I listen. I heard it. God. Yeah. I know. I mean, he just can't help himself. Cousin Sal must be like, man, I would if this wasn't his show, I'd tell him to shut up right now about the Patriots. Hmm. I mean, Gene, I mean, th- th- you know, I- I'm a big fan of the Packers, but I don't base this show about the Packers. I don't, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, you're stream, very abide. I don't put one every story about the Packers. I know, I almost forced you to talk about them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm we, a realist. W- I was so glad when that, when Seattle got within 21 10, then the Packers scored right away. And I was like, okay, that's going to be it. But then uh, Seattle kept coming. Thank goodness, uh, Green Bay. They're smart yeah, enough well, not to. It just, it just d- seems like uh, Pettin. It just uh, it takes Pettin like I think a minute to kind of figure out the offense, and then he has mm-hmm. to adjust. But then finally, by the end of that fourth quarter, they make the adjustments and they know what's coming, and then they uh, they're just able to stop him. Oh, what and a save great the stop. win! So wow. Mm. Yep. All right. Well, uh, we'll I don't know. We'll talk about the uh, NFC champ. I guess we already did, but yeah. we'll talk about some more about it later on. Okay. I guess both sides. All right, so uh, I guess we can talk about the Vikings. Yeah, too bad. That was a dud. I was thinking, man, I hope the Sunday games are good because those Saturday games were terrible, I thought. But the Sunday games were fantastic. But, oh, poor Minnesota. You were rooting for Minnesota, definitely, weren't you? Oh, yeah, I would rather see Minnesota and Green Bay than go to uh, Yeah, um, but you just want them as a neighbor. You want to win, <laughs> don't you? No, I'm thinking long term here, Gene. They're I'm your that. neighbor and they're my neighbor. I mean, they border Iowa and they border Wisconsin. So yeah, well, I mean, again, Gene, you don't. Iowa doesn't have a team, all right? Okay, so, uh, so you, all right. Oh, you know. I, I see. I see what you're saying. Okay, all right. I'll go for that. Um, all right. So before we get to the actual game, Gene, a lot, of, a lot of drama be- be- before this game with the Vikings. Gene, this, this, this is like. The Vikings are like the Cowboys of the NFC North. Oh, my God. So much drama with the coaches and the players, and is he going to play or not play, and is he the quarterback, and blah, blah, blah. Well, it all started with the uh, Rudolphs missing gloves. Oh, After last week. Right, right, yeah. Apparently a uh, media person 
As for uh, Rudolph's uh, wide receiving football gloves, right. said he would put them on charity, up for charity. And so he uh, gave them to a guy. But by the way, Gene, when's the last time you heard about a journalist uh, putting up uh, things for uh, auction? I have not for, heard for of benefits. it. For benefits. Yeah. I, yeah, especially asking a player, it seems so inappropriate. I wonder who this person. They couldn't have been a regular media member. I, they, they're probably someone that got in the locker room and said, "Hey, I'm part of the media. Can I have probably, your gloves?" You, it had to be a scam. probably a YouTuber, Gene. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine. I, it, it, they must have snuck in there. Pro- huh? Probably some dumbasses with their own YouTube show. They can't even get their green screen right. There you go. Where are we anyway? <laughs> Are we at Lambeau? We're at uh, we're uh, we're at Le- Levi Field right now, Gene. Oh, at night. I see. I see. It's foggy. You can't really oh, tell. Yeah, but see, yeah. there's the. Uh, oh, I see. Levi Field. Yep. Levi Field. You have you you've been to Levi Field? No, right? I have, have not. not. Oh, okay. Do people still buy Levi's? I, uh, um, they must have money because yeah. they pay their naming rights. Well, the, the, the foreigners come over here and buy Levi's because oh, they're I so see. cheap out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm you know from like Europe and stuff. From anyone, I don't know. Mm. All right, but anyways, I guess they're found. Someone found them on eBay, and they actually are going to be uh, donated mm-hmm. or something like that. But, Gene, yeah. I mean, who, who who wants some sweaty-ass, uh, <laughs> you know, Ralph Wilson or, or what is it called? No, Wilson gloves? Yeah, I don't – it could be Ralph. Ralph Wilson, didn't he own the Buffalo Bills? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um. Gene, if only the Vikings cared this much about the gloves during the game. <laughs> they they might have they, uh, they not had lost no that. chance, right? Were they just terrible? Uh, did you not watch the game? I or did watched you watch it? it. I watched uh, it. Well, okay, so here's the thing about the game. So, uh, you know, 49ers score right away, and then uh, Cousins throws a good pat. Well, I mean, I think it was a little bit underthrown, but Stephon Diggs made a great catch and scored, and it was 7-7. Seven, seven, and you're like, oh, boy, here we go. We might have oh, a shootout. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Okay, I take it back. That part um, was good. But, uh, but then the, uh, yeah, the, uh, what do you call it? The 49ers defense just pretty much stopped uh, Kirk Cousins. I don't mm-hmm. think they got, I think they got less than like 10 first downs in the whole game. Yeah. Some crazy uh, number like that. <clears throat> and then, Gene, you know, every everyone is talking about like how clutch Kirk Cousins is now because uh, after last week where they beat right. the you know Saints in overtime yeah. and all that, and acting like uh, you know the whole monkey's off his back, it's like okay it was, it was a wild card game playing against a forty one year old quarterback okay, who pretty much threw you guys mm-hmm. literally literally threw you guys <laughs> the game. Wow, um, so not I much thought credit, it was a, not much love for Drew Brees there. He's all he's over the hill. He's done. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's why he's going into the booth. Uh, uh-huh. And then uh, Kirk Cousin promptly threw a uh, interception to uh, Richard Sherman. So uh, that's pretty typical. And by the way, Gene, speaking about Richard Sherman, my goodness, not this not, guy. not not a fan of this. I'm guy. not either. And and I was like, uh, nobody believes uh-huh. in me. I did whatever, dude. You're well, all pro and. You know, it came out that uh, he hit his uh, like a two million dollar bonus or something like that, or maybe it was right. like five hundred thousand right. dollars or something. Yeah. But he like he basically like hit all these incentives for this contract that he negotiated himself, and he's like doing victory laps, you yeah. know, with all the people who doubted him, all that stuff. M- meanwhile, he was the like the ninth highest paid like uh, cornerback or whatever. I know. I mean, position I, player. Right. Right. You know. Right. It took a miracle to make those incentives. Last year, he's hurt, and he didn't. And then let your agent, let the guy hire somebody. Let Josh Norman is, like, making, you know, $7 oh million dollars more than what he is. What a disaster he is. Yeah. And yeah. then who's, who's the guy? Tevis? Or, no, who's the guy from uh, the, the Jets? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Jalen Ramsey's not. Oh, Jalen, although he hasn't got paid yet. But the yeah. DB. Well, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, he basically, you know, you, you're only the ninth, high, you know, you're probably one of the best uh, cornerbacks this year. Right. And uh, you, yeah, you hit all your incentives. Yeah. But uh, the whole reason why you have an agent is so that they can guarantee you more money. Right, dude. Not not like you have to play out of your mind to, uh, you know, uh, to actually make uh, what, you know, top nine. Bottom yeah. of the nine, top yeah. nine, blah blah blah. So, Richard Sherman. Well, and then how much did he save? Maybe six hundred thousand dollars because he know. didn't pay his uh, agent right. fees. 
Nice. What a dumbass. Dumbass. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Uh, and then, by the way, uh, this whole thing about uh, Adam Thielen's ankle jeans. Yes. The the cut. A mysterious. The laceration on his ankle. Uh, gee, how how did how did this happen? Was he shaving his legs? <laughs> I I don't know. Was he using mean, his Venus three? We we I where's Drew McGarry when you need him? What happened to Drew McGarry? That's been supposed to. Uh, I thought that's supposed to relaunch. I know they're gonna have to do it with all those guys, but Drew McGarry, we need him on the story. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, he, you know, Gene, he doesn't actually do research. He just no. does opinion pieces. Okay. Well, maybe he collects that's... a bunch of stuff on Twitter and then uh, yeah. puts okay. it together. No, that, that I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking. All right. Uh, okay. So yeah, so, did he cut himself shaving his legs? Uh, how about this? I got a couple of these, Gene. Okay. Uh, Bring him on. Did did uh, did Kirk Cousins pull a knife on him? Oh, oh what was that go. about? Yeah, don't cross is... Kirk Cousins. He'll pull a knife on you. Gene. I gotcha. Anything else could have possibly happened? Uh, Adam Thielen with a cut with a laceration on his ankle. Uh huh. Uh, best best cut he made all year. Oh, ba boom. Yeah, rim shot. He he kind of struggled toward the end of the year. I think. I don't know. Got hurt. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, listen, listen, Vikings. I know you uh, admired from afar Jordy Nelson, but uh, there's only one white uh, stud wide receiver, and that's Jordy Nelson. All right, stop trying to make try, stop trying to make Adam Thielen a thing. Okay, it's not gonna work. There. <laughs> all right, how's the uh, how's the score for the? Uh, uh, the NF- game is in the, the second half. We uh, we're on national championship game watch. All so right. yeah, we'll, we'll wrap this up. All yeah. right, so yeah, so it's gonna be uh, Packers, Niners. Yeah, we're Please, to um, oh boy, I hope Packers. And then Kansas City, Niners Tennessee. don't need to win; they're too young. They can win another year. All uh, right, do you want to? Well, what What are your predictions for the uh, NFC Championship game? I I'm gonna predict just because I'm just thinking with my heart, the Packers are gonna have a great game and beat them. I hope. Oh my gosh, Aaron Rodgers! Hey. Well, Jimmy Garoppolo. Okay, I, is Aaron Rodgers? Why don't you show him who's boss? Okay, uh, Aaron Rodgers is gonna outplay uh, Jimmy G, and they're gonna beat him. All right, I predict Jimmy Garoppolo. Well, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I, I, I'll say uh, Aaron Rodgers can score. Oh, well, their defense is really good, though. All right. Anyway, I don't know. Thirty-five to seventeen. Let's blow him out. I think Jimmy Garoppolo has like four or five total turnovers. Oh, that would be awesome, including fumbles right, and right. Uh, so like two fumbles, three interceptions, some some number like that, combination like that. And uh, you know they do score points because they do have a good offense. They do m- move the ball. Um, uh, so uh, I'm saying probably 24 49ers. All right, something like probably 35. Yeah, maybe let's get 42. Po- oh, Green that'd Bay be Packers. awesome. Aaron Rodgers, turn back the clock. He's only thirty six, isn't he? Seems like something like I mean, that. So well, actually, you know what? Let me, let me, let me, let me say that again. So I'm gonna yeah. say twenty four thirty one. Packers, Packers right. going to Miami. Oh, that'd Miami be awesome. Beach. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, Packers Chiefs. Please leave the All Titans. Right, and do you want to predict the uh, Titans game? Yeah, the Titans shouldn't even go because nobody wants them there. <laughs> so um, Chiefs. Uh, 55 to 14. All right, let's just blow them uh, up. I bet it'll be like 21 17 yeah. Chiefs or something. I like hope that. the Chiefs don't. Oh my gosh. This again, that, I'm telling you, as a their fan base, they're going to be so sad if they lose this game because they've been so close and they haven't been able to get over. And after what happened against New England last year, yeah, come on, Chiefs. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. I'll be rooting for you. Mm-hmm. All right. And then we got uh, coaching news. I guess Josh McDaniels isn't very likable, right, or popular. Well, so a couple of uh, noteworthy uh, coaching uh, hires. The Browns have hired Vikings offensive coordinator Kevin Stefan- Stefanowski yeah. as a new head coach. Who I've never heard of. Uh, Runner-up, well, he's, he's been the offensive coordinator for one year. Okay, well, uh, for Kirk Cousins, well, I take it all back. And uh, just got demolished in the playoffs. Uh, got less than ten first downs. Yeah, in in a playoff game, like the game you have to kind of win. 
to kind of move on. Clutch. I, I, hey, listen, uh, Matt Nagy was terrible in his playoff game, and he got hired by the Bears. I mean, I understand that, uh, you know, playoff game, it's tough and all that stuff. And, you know, you got Kirk Cousins as your quarterback. But, but that's why you're the coach, Gene. Yeah. That's why you're the coach. You figure out how to win with shit players. <coughs> I don't know. I I don't know if the Browns know what they're doing. Maybe he's good. So then it'll be. I'll take it all back. But and we're know. and we're hearing that the uh, the other candidate was the 49ers defensive uh, coach, who kicked dude's ass. Mm. But uh, he's he's uh, he, he's what, what do you? Uh, he's a little dark, Gene. He's a little dark. Maybe a little bit too dark for uh, Cleveland. Maybe. Ooh. I don't know. Oh. Because I mean, if you think about it, dude whooped. Dude's ass. He literally right, right. was coaching against the offensive coordinator, and dude whooped his ass. You know the 49ers have good players and all that, but yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, you know, Phil Jackson take, takes a good coach to coach great players, right? Right. Use them right. the right way. Don't get yeah. out of your own damn way. That's right. He's a little dark though, Gene. A little dark. All little right, dark. I'll take your word dark. for it. I don't even know who the guy is. I've never seen him. But he's a little dark. All right, I'm gonna bald I'm gonna, a little dark. I'm gonna uh, take that as meaning something. But uh, Gene, so you mentioned, uh, you know, why, you know, why do you go there? Blah blah blah. Apparently, there oh are specific gosh. job requirements. This is terrible. What the hell do they think they're doing? Now? Including. Willingness to submit game plan to analytical staffs and ownership. Wow. Before the game. On Fridays before the game. I'd be like, F you. What the hell? Why? Gene, how would you like to uh, turn in your game plan to uh, Jimmy Haslam? Oh, my gosh. And then get his notes. Yeah. I on, mean, on, uh, on Saturday night. Jimmy Haslam was federally indicted with those stupid truck stops. What? Oh. I, Jane, would you pr- would you trust him to uh, fill your car up with gas? No. <laughs> Although I've been to Flying J truck stops, there there's some between here very, and Vegas. Very nice, very nice. But yeah. but uh, he, I mean, he's not he's not running them himself. He he pays people to run them. Right. Uh, Gene, it gets worse. Mm. To let analytic employees wear headset oh. during a game and be able to interface and interact with coaching staff. Oh my gosh! So Gene, can you can you imagine this, Gene? Yeah. Imagine, uh, ba- you know, Baker Mayfield is un- under center. You know, th- you know, second, second, four. You're on the 14 yard line of your own 14 yard line. You're playing against the Steelers. You know, you're uh, you're Kevin Stefanowski. Yeah. And uh, you're trying to come up with the next two plays. Uh, you know, they're they're running a uh, a zone defense uh, nice. blitz dog. Uh, triple uh, zone de- zone defense. Uh, hey, hey, coach! Hey, coach! You got uh, you got analytics on line one. <laughs> oh my gosh! I yeah, I got analytics on line one. You got you got the nerdy guy with glasses. Yeah, make it quick. Who's, uh, who's never played? Play in. Uh, hey, hey, coach. Ran the numbers. Do uh, what? Why to blah? I mean, and the just stream of, you know, football plays. Wow, what a mess! Cleveland, and they don't. And, have and a then GM. there's a flag because there's a delay of game. And then they don't even have a GM. Why don't they? Isn't the GM? Aren't they supposed to hire Joe GM? Posada, or something like that? That's his name. But aren't they supposed to have a GM who hires his own coach or something like that? Or I don't. Know. One more. One more point here. Okay. Um, we'll meet for hours with the ownership the day after the game. So uh, not only uh, are you going to lose every other game, probably every game, you're going to have to sit with Jimmy Haslam the next day and go every, through every single <laughs> – go oh, through ga- game footage with Jimmy Haslam. What a disaster. Wow. I mean, is, is Kevin S- S- Sonoski, is he bringing his gimp mask, or are they providing him with a new one? Because that's what he is. He's a gimp. Yeah, yeah. For the ownership. Right out of Pulp Fiction, right? Yep. There you, there go. you go. I, they're mad. I, I, this is I, I, the way they do things there. Maybe it'll work, and, uh, but wow. Hey, who knows? Uh, it I, won't be because of uh You sure can't really the trust them. You can't sure trust them. Yeah. What, you can't trust they know what they're doing. 
It's too bad. The people of Cleveland, the fans are like, what the hell? Uh, what is wrong with our owner? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We got a great quarterback. We got a great wide receiver. What What's going on here? All right. Um, and then uh, the other big coaching move, Mike McCarthy, Gene, going yeah. to uh, the, the, the Cowboys. Yeah, that one. The I'm Dallas okay. Cowboys. Right. Well, good for Mike. Yeah, good for him. Again, he'll always be able to uh, come to Wisconsin and get a free meal. And he won a Super Bowl. It's probably good. I mean, you knew Jerry. That's good for Jerry because he, he's got someone that's going to listen to him and won't tell him to butt out. So I guess that'll Does work. He? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, uh, yeah. Jerry will be very involved. That He's kind of got a lot of limited. Yeah. There's so, I don't know. I, I, I think they're probably going to have the same results, probably go like 8-8. Eight and eight. Yeah. For like three, you know, maybe two years. But I think actually, Jerry, I, I bet he gets fired after two years. No. And the fact that he's not, uh, I, I bet they go eight and eight next year. Now, you know, let's, let's say, let's say ten and six. Okay, yeah. here we go. This is what's going to be ten and six next year. They get to the right. playoffs, lose first round, whatever it is. Right. Maybe they get a bye. Who knows? Lose first round. Uh, next year they go like four and twelve or something like that, and then he gets fired. I don't think so. That's what's going to happen. It could be in the Super Think will be there. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> see about that. Him All and right. LaFleur uh, in, the, in the NFC Championship. Yeah, That'd be fun. Why not? Good for Mike. Yeah, good for Mike. Yeah. All right. Um, sh- all right. And then uh, we'll, we'll move right along okay, here, Gene. Get we'll going. get this going here. All right. And then uh, big news out of baseball. Wow. Uh, Major League Baseball dropped the hammer. On the Houston Astros, they uh, well actually it's two specific Houston Astros: the GM and the uh, the manager, who uh, I do not know. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Le- this just this Jeff uh, Lungum or whatever the hell. Yeah. Whatever his name, J- J- L- or John Lickow, I think. I think that's his name. Mm. And uh, well, they got suspended for one year. Of course, for uh, doing these uh, batting signals or whatever pitching signals to the batters, um, they were promptly fired by the Astros owner. Yeah. So hey, good for the Astros owner stepping up like that. That took some guts. I'm all for that. I mean, uh, Boston. I don't know. They're, they're probably the same thing going to happen to them, but maybe they won't get fired. And then, then they. Uh, We'll see. So Alex yeah. Cora, he's the manager of the uh, Red yeah. Sox. Yeah, right? he's really got to get American suspended League. for a year too. Now. So well, yeah, for sure. Um, well, and then Boston was even part of it, and that's kind of how they found out because yeah. they got Boston got banged for this a couple yeah. of years ago. Well, right? their 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 investigation is going to be next or results, but wow! And then they lost uh, first and second draft picks for the next two years. So good for. I, I that's great for baseball. Step up, way to step up. And weren't weren't the Cubs mentioned? No, in the report. I thought the Brewers were. <laughs> don't mention the Cubs. They didn't do anything wrong. All right, Cubs, All right, don't, Cubs don't have technology in it. The only thing the Cubs <laughs> were mentioned was could you Darvish suffered because of the Astros cheating ways. Yeah, well, no. uh, <laughs> don't break. You know Cubs what? You know what Christian Yelich right. thinks about that. No one needs to cheat against your target. Hey, the Cubs, Cubs won the World Series without cheating. Hey, that the Red Sox <laughs> yeah, and we the don't Astros. Know that. We don't oh, know that. I was there. I saw it. <laughs> I was at Game Seven of the World Series. The Cubs did not cheat. They did it the right way. Um. Well, Gene, listen. I watched the uh, documentary about uh, Joseph McCarthy. So yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to throw out baseless ass. Ac- accusi- accusation. Right. Well, then, but there was like ahead. a nine-page uh, memo or whatever statement. You're, sw- you're sweating a little bit, huh, Gene? No. <laughs> Jeez. Don't, ma- don't bring. Don't even <laughs> say mention anything about the Cubs and their World Series title. So yeah, good job. I hope yeah, this rips apart Houston. It, yeah, I, I hate to be mean, but uh, I mean the team, the players are still there, right? Yeah, so. but you know. All right. Um, but I, I'll pre- but this is going on everywhere. So some some sort of this is going on like everywhere. So for sure, but I think hopefully everyone. So you know what? It'll be very interesting to see if uh, there's a noticeable effect of batting averages go down mm. next year because I I got a feeling this is kind of systemic. That's probably why the Cubs didn't make the World Series or the playoffs this year because they didn't cheat. Because they didn't play. The, they don't play the Astros. Right? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, they did play them one time. Yeah. <laughs> They don't cheat. <laughs> okay, you tell you tell me. Uh, what's cheat. his face? Uh, Theo. Theo does, Theo does everything Guy right. Does he does everything right. Don't even. Yeah, he's not. He does <laughs> it the right way. Cubs do things the right way. 
Like they, he uh, they, like, they, like they, honors his Airbnb contracts. That's is that right. right. <laughs> he that was uh, he was attacked. Br- bringing was, along uh, scorpions. Uh, yeah, false accusations. So somewhere else. Come to Jay. All right, and then uh, really quick, Gene. Uh, so there's uh, some drama going on Steph, in the NBA. M- mind your own business. Apparently, I, uh, Steph Curry was uh, caught on a microphone talking to Gianna, oh saying, "Listen, come I'm, on, let's do this." I'm officially a Bucks fan, although I like the Bulls too. But don't you mess with Giannis, please, for the good of Milwaukee and for the NBA. Giannis never leave Milwaukee and please win a title. All right, a couple of things here. Um, well, Steph, you, you you can't win a championship without like a uh, right a, another superstar. Yeah, mind your own that, business. So it's, Kevin Durant. Yeah. I mean, why don't you try to get LeBron? How, uh, where where were you when uh, Giannis was falling in the draft? Why didn't you tell your front? Yeah. You stay, mind your own business, Steph. Yeah. You didn't you didn't say two words to Giannis in the green room, Steph. Right. Right, while he's sitting it, it, there, and all these <laughs> other stiffs got picked ahead of him. You know what? It was probably like three years between. Did they were they drafted? No, they weren't drafted, right? It was probably like a three Ooh. year difference for the draft. Oh yeah, no, they weren't uh, the same draft. No, right? Steph was uh, about four or five years yeah, ahead of okay. him. Yeah, but so you you didn't make the phone call, Steph. Yeah, Steph. There's nothing worse than hey. He Milwaukee, he's a Milwaukee guy, and then Steph coming in and trying to ruin things. Gene, you know, this is like uh, Br- bad, Brett, Brett Favre, Brett Favre going over to Brian Erlacher. Hey, yo, c- come come to my team. Yeah. Mind your own business. C- come over to the Packers. Just, what, yeah. Is there, there, is there no honor, like, in the NBA? Like, this is such a joke. All these guys just want to, you know. They think, well, drink I mean, wine with each other. I, I mean, know. Hey, let's let's come here. You can form a super team. I, I don't think so. Yeah, so who who's the best player on the team? We don't know because they all play together. That's right. Thank you. And I, I mean, love that's the when, point, right? You're I supposed to prove you're the best up. player. Yeah, like uh, Kyrie Irving and in and Durant goes to New Jersey or Brooklyn, and they're a total disaster. Although Durant hasn't played, but it, I it, leave Milwaukee alone. It's such a great story if Milwaukee can win with this team well, and, and keep them together. It's funny. Everyone knows G- there's no way in hell Giannis is staying in Milwaukee. Oh, he's going to stay. Funny. I hope so. He seems like he well, could Gene, possibly. How do you know uh, Steph Curry wasn't talking about coming to Milwaukee? How about there that? You, there you go, Steph. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Negative a billion? Mm, probably not going to happen. Well, Gene, I, uh, I again, I've got some magic uh, lip-reading powers, and I watched some other angles of this conversation. Yeah? What did you And you uh, I, I got some theories. Okay. About some other things that they were discussing. All right. All right. Lay it uh, off me, bro. <laughs> um, wife swap. Ah. Come on, let's do this. Wife swap. That was one of the topics. Oh, I see. That's where it was. Ju- okay. Um, All hey, right. come on. Come on. Let's do this. Murder Steve Kerr. Oh. Murder Steve Kerr, Gene. All right. Yeah. That could have been possibly what they were saying. All right. Were they anything else? Any other possibilities? Uh, come on. Let's do this. Uh, help, help me buy Warriors tickets for my kid. There you go. Because they're so expensive, although they've probably gone down quite a bit, right? Yeah. Well, they're expensive, but uh, man, b- m- new arena and they suck. Bucks got a nice, beautiful arena, and uh, Giannis. I'm gonna try to see him in April, so I hope so. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, come on, let's do this. Uh, finally, get the uh, 78 Camaro off the blocks and out of uh, Steph Curry's front lawn. They're discussing that. There you go. Steve Curry's uh, 78 uh, Camaro off the blocks, off his front lawn, Gene. Mm. That, 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 that could, they could have been discussing that. That could have been one of their, yeah. I didn't realize they, they, had, they had such a wide range of conversation, but pretty good. Come on, let's do this. Uh, explain to Steph Curry what Cream City means. <laughs> what is it? Cream City, Gene. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know it either. You don't is know it, the reason why? I don't know. Is it something bad? Maybe on next shows, Gene. No, oh, just, okay. no the reason why, Gene, yeah. is because the uh, the clay or the dirt or whatever they use for bricks in Milwaukee 
have this kind of whitish oh, cream color. That's why you see all these uh, cream colored bricks in Milwaukee. All right. And like La Crosse and a bunch of cities in uh, Wisconsin. It's Cream mm. City. Mm. Cream City, cream blocks, cream bricks. Gene, I, I know where you come from. A cream brick means something else. I know. I I was no, it doesn't. <laughs> I I was thinking cream corn, which is I don't know. I don't say. Hey, listen, I was very wholesome. <laughs> so are the Cubs. Cream brick. They don't do anything wrong. All right, uh, I got a couple more for you. Eugene. All righty. Come on, let's do this. Uh, buy a nice duplex on Brady Street. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 a street in Milwaukee. It's All right. expensive. It's a All it's right. Expensive. Nothing like uh, yeah. Any more inside Milwaukee right. jokes? Uh come on, come on, let's do this. Uh teach me how to pronounce your name. <laughs> Giannis. All right. All right. That's all I got. That's all. Well, I got. good job. Stay put, Giannis. Stay <laughs> yeah. put. Stay strong. Don't let him talk you out of leaving Milwaukee. That's what. I'd right. never leave Milwaukee. And then Gene, I uh, I did uh, see nineteen seventeen. I'm going to see it tomorrow at the ArcLight. Did you see it at the ArcLight? I did. Yeah. And I uh, followed your strategy, and I went to the show at ten thirty five. Oh, you went early in the, in the morning. morning. Yeah. Because I wake up pretty early, and I was just playing video games. I got tired of that. I'm like, man, what did I just do? Right. I was like, you know what? I've been waiting. You know, I wanted to see this movie. I might as well just go see this movie right now. Sixteen seventy five for a uh, I know. ten ten a.m. show. Isn't that terrible? Jesus, I know. Th- th- uh, th- that that's without popcorn, Gene. I know. Uh, dark light. They don't. Uh, that's a bad thing about living in L.A. It's hard to find deals. Yeah. By the way, uh, you know they they, they say, hey, let, let me know if the picture or the sound is blah blah blah. Well, the goddamn speaker on the right side was uh, buzzing, buddy. Oh, I probably should have told him at the time, but I was trying to watch a movie. Yeah. Pretty cool, though. Um, Yeah. So, you know, for a war movie. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, it might win the best picture. Very, very cool. You know, it's got the everything is supposed to be like one shot. Right. And all that stuff. But I thought actually it was kind of distracting because I was looking for like when they're going to like change shots and all that stuff. Because they do like tricks, you know, right? Because obviously yeah. it wasn't like one shot. Right. Um and then um I you know a couple a couple of little like historical inaccuracies that kind of didn't make a little sense, mm. uh but for the most part pretty good and just a couple uh corny you know war movie cliche scenes wow that they put in just because it's a Hollywood movie and blah 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 but you know what for a war movie it's pretty cool yeah and uh, we can kind of talk more. All right. Bit. Well, I'll Let's see it tomorrow and pay eighteen dollars or whatever because I'm Jeez. going later in the afternoon. Oh yeah, yeah. So a couple things. Yeah. Going going in the morning, Gene. It's, yeah. It's uh really good. Couple f- for a few reasons. Number one, I uh, you know I when I go like at ten o'clock or nine or something like that at night, I fall asleep. Yeah. And I need like a you know a cup of coffee or something like that. But uh, you know if I already had like four cups of coffee by ten a.m. and I get another cup of coffee at the theater. And uh, I'm all good, you know. I I'm on Fr- I'm in France. There you go. You know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. And G- I hear you. And I uh, I just got there early, so I was the only one in the theater for a little bit. There, there was probably like uh, maybe 30 people that were in the theater when I uh. when it started. Uh, the next two people that came in after me, Gene, mm-hmm. a uh, a mother and daughter, like uh, Asian. Oh. M- mother and daughter, like the grandma, you know, whatever. The mother was like, you know, 70, 60, whatever. The mom was like 40, whatever. I just thought it was a little weird that, uh, you know, mom and dad, daughter coming to this yeah. war movie at 1030 a.m. or something like that. A L- little weird. Maybe they took a lap when they were supposed to turn into cats. <laughs> I guess. Maybe they're big war buffs. Maybe yeah. grandma's big yeah. war buff. She, she World was, War One. Yeah. yeah, maybe she knew someone that was in the war, mm-hmm. maybe. Could be. Who knows? All right. Gene, I think we are going to end it right there. All right. Next week will be a Packers victory. Oh, please. And it, it'll be Packers, Kansas City. Watch it be Niners, Titans, and they'll be all ruined. Boo. Yeah, well, we will uh, We'll see what happens. Okay. And uh, I got a feeling... I got a feeling things will uh, be pretty good. I think uh, the Packers are going to win it. All right, I like so. that. I love your attitude. All right, yeah. let's go All with right, that. I go with that. Okay. All right, they got some music. Okay. okay. So for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Stotts. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys.
That'd be so great, though. 